<sighs> it's unimaginable living with somebody with extreme OCD. Everything is tortured. Uh, I gotta verify it one more time. And taunted. That wasn't good enough. So now I gotta go through the whole thing again. By his OCD thoughts. All I need you to do, go with me. No. Out to the car. No. And uh, check one more time to make no. sure it's empty. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you help me throw away the uh, product. So all those things you threw away, the boxes, the product, they're all empty. Yes. It takes no prisoners. It is never satisfied. It comes down to I don't trust myself. But you don't trust me either. Everything in his life is about rituals, orders, routines, counting, checking, validations. In order for him to do the most mundane tasks that we all take for granted, he has to ask and receive permission from his brain. It has increasingly got worse over the last five years. He's been unable to hold a job. He stays in the same clothes for weeks at a time. He can't shower. He can't trim his nails. He can't shave his beard. He can't brush his teeth. He doesn't smell good. He doesn't look good. He has no self-confidence. He completely relies on me to get him through. He can't do simple things like opening a refrigerator to get himself something to eat, opening the pantry to get a snack. He tries not to eat so he doesn't have to go to the restroom. He'll get stuck in a restroom for up to eight hours. I can't even move out into the bathroom, I'm stuck. I can't throw anything away until he gives me permission to throw it away. It has become a life completely ruled by paranoia and fearful thoughts. I don't even know what I'm doing. I get stuck in between rooms. I am a prisoner of this disease as well. I stopped even considering us really married or a couple probably six years ago. I had to give Mike an ultimatum that he has another week to find another place to live because I need to be able to walk away and live with myself regardless of what happens. It's taken the man that I love, the man that I married, it's taken finances, it's taken my future, it's taken us having kids. It's ruined everything in our lives. This is very painful for you. Extremely painful, embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing for you? This is something for 16 years I have tried to help him hide and protect. It was just easier to keep it a secret and try to get through it and think that I could help him and he would get better and we could have a normal life together and we just can't, we can't lie anymore. You say that you want my help because if something doesn't happen here, he's going to be homeless because it, you're at the point where you can't take it anymore or you're going to crack. I'm going to crack. You knew before you married him that he was... He got... Yes, he got diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder after a few marriage counseling visits and then they recommended he go to a psychiatrist. He got diagnosed with something, he got prescribed a medicine, and I thought we were on the road to recovery. So you didn't go into it buying into what you have now? No. If you knew then what you know now, would you have married him? Never. How long has it been since you've been intimate? Years? Probably years. I mean, we look at the pictures here and these... Those are his feet. Those are he his feet. He walks in your house with those feet. And he doesn't cut his nails, doesn't wash his hair, doesn't take a shower. And you say he doesn't do the normal hygiene things because he doesn't have time. It's too overwhelming to him at this point. He yeah. can't keep up with it. When yeah, he was he, working... He has no job, he has no responsibility, but he has no time to take a shower. All, and, oh, he's very busy doing compulsions and rituals all right. day and night. Because it may take him eight hours to go from one room to another. It may.